Born in 1958, Fifi was only two years old when Dr. Jane Goodall first started her research at Gombe. Thanks to Jane's books and numerous documentaries, Fifi became one of the most well-known chimps in Gombe. Growing up with her older brothers, Fifi learned all about male behavior. While other females were intimidated by the male's aggressiveness during courting, Fifi was very comfortable. This led to her giving birth to nine offspring, a Gombe record. Under the protection of her mother, Flo, Fifi was a curious and fearless youngster. This fearlessness led her to become the highest ranking female in the community. Like her mother, Fifi was very affectionate, playful, and protective of her own offspring. Say, if you're one of Fifi's offspring, you know, there Fifi is to support you and it bolsters your confidence. Um, other chimps are used to kind of being subordinate to you because you've got Fifi there by your side and they kind of grow up with this incredible confidence. Three of Fifi's sons, Freud, Frodo, and now Ferdinand, became alpha males of the community. <laughs> it's kind of fascinating that Fifi instilled that confidence, that family confidence, into all of those males. Even after Jane stopped active field research in 1986, a connection remained between Jane and Fifi. Whenever Jane would return to the forests in Gombe, Fifi would appear for reunion. In 1998, Fifi became ill during the sarcoptic mange epidemic that swept through the community. She lost all of her hair and almost died. Almost as soon as Fifi started recovering, she gave birth to her ninth offspring, Faraha. In the fall of 2004, Fifi and Faraha went missing. Sadly, they are now presumed dead. Gone, but not forgotten, Jane remembers the time she spent with Fifi, especially her sense of humor. I remember um, Fifi when she was about seven. She's up in a tall tree, and there's a, a vine, one of these you know, thin vines dangling down. Mm -hmm. So I kind of wiggled it. Mm -hmm. She looked down at me, mm -hmm. and she pulled it up. To and me. then she let it down, and I reached for it, and she pulled it up. So she did it to me. <laughs> to you? Yeah. yeah. Ha ha. <laughs> ha ha ha. Fifi contributed greatly to the research in Gombe on mothering, sexuality, and so much more. Her loss will be felt by all.